Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. This video is going to go through how you can use Desmos to check your factorization. So this is great if you are factoring something and you want to see if you've got the correct factors or if you are taking a multiple choice assessment and you can simply run through the different factors. So I'm gonna turn on visibility on the quadratic there and um, you can see the graph. Now the deal with factoring is that factoring does not actually change what the polynomial is, it only changes how it is is written. And so if you graph the original polynomial and the factored polynomial, you should get the same graph. So let's say you're factoring this and you come up with 2x minus 5 and 4x plus 1 as your potential factors. And what you notice there is that the blue graph and the red graph are not matched up. And so you know that this, these are not the correct factors. But you might also notice, and this is a great thing about playing around with it, that they are symmetrical over the y-axis. And so as you alter this and play around with the signs and the numbers, you might spot some really neat patterns. So to fix this, I'm going to change the first minus sign to a plus sign and the plus sign here to a minus sign. And now the two graphs match up so I know that I have the correct factors because these two expressions generate the same graph. Now I'm going to turn off the visibility on that and we'll just take a look at this cubic. So this will work for higher order polynomials as well. So let's say you type in, you know, you're working on your factors or you're checking factors and we have x plus 3, x minus 3, and then and x plus 6, and you'll notice that that blue graph lays right on top of the purple graph. You don't need to see the entire graph, but you do want to make sure you're seeing enough of it to make sure that they are matching up everywhere and they're not just really close. Now, suppose you were factoring and you typed in this... Okay, and you will notice that that also matches up, but you would know not to pick that one because the x squared minus 9 is the difference of squares, so it's not fully factored. So if you have multiple ones that match up, you want to check to make sure things are fully factored. So this is a really useful time-saving way to check your work or to help you out on multiple choice things. You're looking for matching graphs.